In this video, I am going to talk about one of the main reasons why the channel blanket works better than the microcell architecture. That reason is throughput. In the previous video, the problems with microcell part one, we discuss a typical microcell deployment with nine APs. And we saw how co-channel interference drastically reduces the actual throughput to the extent that it's the same as if we had deployed only three cells, not nine. So we were left with three channels of capacity or even less, taking into account contention losses. In this video, I am going to talk about how Extracom's channel blanket technology eliminates co-channel interference and yields vastly improved throughput in comparison to the microcell architecture. In this video, we'll focus on the 2.4 GHz band, and in a subsequent video, we'll take a closer look at the 5 GHz band. So let's get to it. The cause of co-channel interference in our microcell example was the need to repeat the channels in order to cover the area with wireless LAN. In the Extracom channel blanket, there are effectively no cells. That's because each cell is run on the same channel. Because in this architecture, we can run the APs at maximum power or move them closer together without fear of co-channel interference. The result is a smooth blanket of wireless LAN coverage. However, as I mentioned in the previous video, in the microcell architecture, separate channels are needed to increase wireless LAN throughput. With only one channel in a channel blanket, haven't we created one big collision domain? Isn't this what, what we were trying to avoid? Well, the answer is that with microcell technology, you shouldn't try this. But Extracom's technology is built to run the cells on a single channel and do so exceedingly well. For example, the Extracom wireless LAN switch, in stark contrast to microcell controllers, is able to carefully control the channel blanket in order to eliminate co-channel interference between the APs. And it gets even better. Extracom has patented technology called True Reuse, which enables up to three simultaneous downlinks on a channel blanket. What TrueUse does is actually triple the downlink capacity of a single channel. In many of today's web-based applications, Downlink capacity is of primary importance because users download a lot more data than they upload. Nevertheless, Extracom also has addressed uplink capacity with a feature we call natural reuse. Natural reuse enables up to three simultaneous uplinks on a single channel blanket. So with efficient reuse of just one channel, Extracom achieves the same uplink and downlink capacity as the three-channel 9AP microcell deployment that we discussed earlier. And now let's add channels 1 and 6 to the Extracom deployment. The way we add channels 1 and 6 is by activating two more radios inside Extracom's multi-radio AP. In our use case, we are deploying the EXRP30N which is shown on the left side of the slide. So now by activating the other radios inside the EXRP30N, we now have three blankets of wireless LAN coverage stacked for capacity. Each blanket is operated by a different radio in the access point, ensuring that there is no contention between the blankets at any time. Factoring in re true reuse and natural reuse with three blankets of coverage, we can support nine simultaneous wireless transmissions, and that's within the relatively restrictive 2.4 GHz band. The 5 GHz band opens up the option of running up to four channel blankets in parallel. Another bandwidth multiplier that we haven't even talked about yet is the fact that the channel blanket architecture gives us the option to segregate 802.11n users onto their own 40 megahertz channel blanket or onto two 20 megahertz channel blankets as shown here. Legacy users are restricted to channel one where they will still have all the bandwidth they need. This is of critical importance because removal of the legacy users from the end channels can provide an additional seven times more throughput as we reclaim the high-speed bandwidth that those slower users would have wasted. 
This kind of segregation, by the way, within a single band is impossible to implement in a microcell architecture. So to sum up, with the standard microcell architecture, even though we deployed nine cells in our use case, we found ourselves with only three channels of wireless LAN capacity or less due to co-channel interference. With the Extracom solution, the opposite is true. Even in the 2.4 gigahertz band, the channel blanket architecture effectively provides up to nine channels of capacity and in addition, each of those channels is providing several more times the throughput due to segregation of legacy users. So the Extracom channel blanket eliminates the severe throughput problems of the microcell architecture. The Extracom solution provides the kind of bandwidth that the school in our use case was looking for in the first place. So if throughput is important to you, you should be taking a very close look at the channel blanket architecture. As we've shown, when it comes to throughput, the channel blanket simply works better than the standard microcell architecture.